First, we have our cartilage punch together with the trocar, which prevents soft tissue to come into the instrument. So this is the cartilage punch. It has a one on it because it's the first step and so has the trocar. Then we go through our portal towards our defect. And to take out the trocar, then we are ready to hammer down our punch. Important is here to take care that we don't hammer it above the third laser mark. We have three laser marks marking each one millimeter. So the max is three millimeters, which is approximately the depth of our cartilage. With that, number two, we centralize our instruments, so we are always guided. We simply hammer that down until the instruments are flush. Now we are guided with the guideline. So even if we would lose our position with the punch, we can always find our position again. In the next step, we do the reaming. So we create an even surface of the defect. So we have this tip, which is very sharp. It is cannulated, so we can go over the guide wire with the cannulated instrument. And we can always control arthroscopically where that the line is the, the laser mark on the instrument and also I can feel that I'm now turning the instrument at the metal so it doesn't go any deeper. I take it out and then controlling by you the reel. Now in this case I would reel a little bit more by hand because of the position of my punch. In order to debride the reamed cartilage, we can just simply go with our shaver inside the punch and use the suction to debride it. Or we can also take with a little grasper the minced cartilage from the window here and use it later as additional biologization for AMIC+. Now, in the next step we have two options. Either we do microfracturing with our multi-perforator instrument, which looks like that. So it has six sharp pins with a diameter of 1.2 and a depth of 0.9 setting. And we simply hammer it down until the instruments are flush. And again, we can control the lines on the window. Now it is very important not to turn the knob, but rather use this extractor to take out the multi perforator. The second option that we would have, instead of the microfracturing, is microdrilling. For that, we have our drill guide, again with six holes with a 1.2 millimeter diameter. Then we can simply go over the guide wire and drill our holes. If the defect is bigger than our one square centimeter, we take a 1.2 guide wire, put it on this channel at the side of our punch and then we bend it and now we can just turn our punch along the guide wire on the side and create a bigger defect. We could even now remove our center guide wire and turn 360 degree around our side wire. We have to prepare the membrane now. For that, we have this cutting pan and the blister packaging of the Combro Guide fits perfectly well into this pan. Then, very important to mark it, so we always know what's up and what's down. 
because it's a bilayer membrane. As you then we have the membrane cutter, it's very sharp, and then we cut our membrane with the instrument after we have wetted it. Very important here is that we don't hammer the instrument style and we don't turn it. Rather, we wiggle around on the same position as if we would drive a manual transmission car. Now we have the membrane fitting perfectly well into the vehicle. Then we have our membrane inserter, which acts similar to a syringe. We have this step in the instrument where it stays, which allows us to have some space at the top for the membrane. So what we should do now is take care that we put the membrane the right side onto the inserter, which means that the upper part comes now downwards to the inserter, because obviously we flip now the inserter into the defect. I a drop of fibrin glue, or if we want to add additional bioloxization to our amic, which makes it to an amic plus, we could add minced cartilage pieces that we took out before, or BMAC, or PRP, or AMFAT, whatever you would prefer. But always important to put a drop of fiber glue on it. Then, before we can insert the membrane, we have to remove the pin. Now we are ready to insert and fix our membrane. For that, we just simply insert it and then release the instrument as if it would be a syringe. And we hold it for some seconds for the fiber glue to allow to set. Then we take out our instrument step by step, inside out. and then we have our AMIC. Our AMIC arthroscopically done with the AMIC arthroscopic instruments.